Some veteran commanders recommended that I check out Rubigo Mines, and this is by far the easiest way that I've made credits in Elite Dangerous. To get started, you're going to need a few things. You need a medium ship. Um, a large ship will not land. We're using the Python. You're going to need a ton of passenger cabins. You can buy them at Seos, which is pretty close to Rubigo. Optional recommended heat sinks, super cruise assist, dock and computer, engineered FSD. All of those things are going to help you out and make this grind just a little bit easier. As always, we're ad free, but if you'd like to buy something off my Amazon wish list, please feel free and check out the link in the description below. Here we go. We are at Robigo Mines in the Robigo system, R-O-B-I-G-O. -O. I'm going to assume you've never done passenger miss missions, so I'm going to try to explain everything that I can to make it as easy as possible for you to do these missions. So we are at a medium-sized landing pad. You cannot land here with large ships. I'm using a Python. This, is a re this was recommended in the comments of my last video, and this is going to be uh, currently valid for February. 2020. Um, I have this ship completely decked out with passenger cabins. I think one first class and the rest are either business or economy. No shield, no fuel scoop. You don't need it as long as you have a decent jump range. I do have on this Python um, a an FSD uh, upgrade on a 5A. Um, it's yeah, it's a fully upgraded FSD. Um, with that, you don't need a scoop. I'm not sure. You might have to try your first one with a scoop if you don't have an engineered FSD. Um, to get out here to Rubigo Mines with my Python, um, I just I had a fuel scoop. I had this FSD, but I also had a grade 5 um, Guardian FSD booster. You don't need it, but if you don't have it, it's going to be quite a few jumps because it's a lot to get out here. All right, so what you want to do. Once you have all of your passenger cabins loaded up, you're at Rubigo Mines Passenger Lounge. We are looking for missions to Sirius Atmospherics. We're gonna start with the first faction, which I don't think gives, okay, there's a few. If there, there's a few, if you have five millions, grab the five millions first. And we always lowest, lowest grade, lowest amount of space. We have to do economy 16. There's another five million here we're gonna grab. If it's five million, it's pretty safe just to grab it. And that's going to be another Economy 16, which is fine. All right, looking for some 4 million missions. All right, there's some 4 millions. We'll come back to them. Let's see if there's any 5 millions in, in here. And I'm looking at Sirius, at, where it says Destination on the right there, Sirius Atmospherics. And then I'm looking at the credits. And if you want, you can sort this by um, credits instead. Of having everything just so you see the credits you don't need to do that but that's just a way to do it so we're gonna grab this five million going down to this one looking for any five millions there's not gonna be any I don't think just because we used up all the big cabins the grade six cabins um, so now we're looking for four millions don't see any So it looks like we're gonna have to start grabbing three millions, which is fine. We've already got three five millions. That's 15 million in credits already. So we're gonna grab some of these three millioners. And lowest lowest quality, lowest capacity is the rule, which on this case just so happens to be it has to be first class, which is fine. I do have some first class cabins on this ship. No luxury because it's not a pa it's not technically a passenger liner, um, so you can't have luxury. All right, I'm gonna start grabbing these two millions, and we're running out of sp oh we're not gonna be able to fill up it looks like. So what we're gonna do is so there's no serious missions left, so I'm gonna back out and then go back in and see if it loads any new ones. But even if it doesn't, so you used to be able to board flip. Now you could try to board flip. It probably won't work, but there is a slight chance that the server might refresh. I wouldn't risk it. We've already got over 20 million worth of credits. I would just go ahead and run it. So I'm gonna run the whole thing without any time lapse so you guys see how fast this is, okay? So 
I don't have a, um, oh no, I do. I, no, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a docking computer. So I have to do all this manually. So I'm going to try to go as fast as I can to see how quick it takes to get from Rubigo Mines to Sirius Atmospherics and back. So here we go. So what I'm going to do after I launch, I'm going to boost and then I'm going to go into my computer and set the course. It's three jumps there, three jumps back, six jumps total. You could engineer a little bit better to to have less jumps, but I don't have, I'm not doing that right now. I don't have time. I'm okay with three jumps, but we're just going to try to do this as quickly as possible. Um, uh oh, okay, there we, whoops. So plotting Sothis. All right, so while this is charging up, remember, all those non-essentials, anything you can get away with not having, don't have it on. You want as many passenger cabins as possible. So that means I don't have a fuel scoop. I don't have um, a shield. No shield, no fuel scoop. Anything that can take a passenger cabin slot, fill it with a passenger cabin slot. Granted, this time we didn't fully fill up all the passenger cabins, but last time I did. The last time I just did it, and I think I, the trip was 21 million. Um, so what I like to do is pitch as far, when I come in, since I'm not scooping, pitch a far, as far away from the sun as possible so that I can get more speed. All right, we're, so we're good now. Because you, you're want, if you're wanting to do this as fast as possible and you're not being casual, then you need to cut all those little things out. Like trying to get to your, jump to your next destination, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> now I do have heat sinks. Um, this is so if I get scanned, I can pop a heat sink and I don't get scanned because we are going to be traveling with illegal passengers most of the time. Actually, right now, I don't even think... It looks like we don't have any illegal passengers, but last time I did. Last time I did have illegal passengers. Pitch away. Waiting for our FSD to cool down. Good to go. Also, pitching away um, allows you not to take on heat when you charge your FSD. Um, so I do have a Super Cruise Assist computer on. Um, that's just a personal preference. I know that some people don't like it, some people do. Um, for me, I like having it so that I don't look away for a second and then realize I goofed up. But you could prop, I mean, if you're paying attention, you don't need it. So what we're gonna do, pitch away. We're gonna look. So it's blue on A5, but really we're going to Sirius Atmospherics. So sometimes it pops up, sometimes it does, doesn't. You might have to get close to A5 before it pops up. But once you get within a certain distance of A5, then Sirius Atmospherics will pop up. Again, if it's already populated when you jump into the system, just target Sirius Atmospherics. And um, instead of A5. Now maybe someone in the comments can comment on why sometimes it does pop up and sometimes it doesn't. I'm guessing maybe if it's on this side of the if the beacons on this side of the planet facing the sun, maybe it pops up. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see some information in the comments about that. So what we're going to do, we're gunning it. We're going full throttle until we get to seven to six seconds. And then we're going to throttle back to either if you're in super cruise assist, the blue zone or 75% throttle, which I'm playing on PlayStation four with the flight stick. And when you're playing with the flight stick, it's a little bit difficult to throttle to 75 because it doesn't, for whatever reason, doesn't work quite right. But it is easy to throttle to the blue zone. So for these passenger missions, if you're not familiar with them, all you're doing is going to a location and scanning the beacon at that location and then jumping back. So we're at seven, going to the blue zone. Now you can go to six, six seconds, but you need to go to the blue zone immediately. Actually, I might overshoot now. Hopefully not. If we hit four seconds, I'm probably going to overshoot. Okay, so we're good. We're not going to overshoot. Um, <coughs> but yeah, if you're really pushing it, you can go between six and seven. As soon as the six hits six, go to the blue zone. Um, but seven is the is the safe spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to start scanning it as soon as we jump out. But while it's scanning, we're going to jump to our galaxy map and we're going to um, plot a course for Rubigo. 
As I've mentioned in previous videos, you're gonna want to bookmark Rubigo and Sothis, just so you have them bookmarked. I'm gonna go around here so we don't get caught in the planet's gravity and slow us down too much. So we're going wide, so we have a straight shot in without skimming the planet. Because if you get too close to the planet, it'll start to get you into the 20s of seconds and you don't want that. So go wide, good to go. All right, so we're good now, perfect. We might get a little bit of gravity, but it won't be too bad. Um, so we're gonna, as soon as we jump out, we're gonna start scanning the beacon and then jump to our galaxy map, plot a course for Rubigo. So there's the beacon right there. Just select it like you would select a target. Galaxy map, it's currently scanning and it's gonna scan in the background while we plot our course to Rubigo. Plot your course, plot route. Get out of here. That's good. All those when you see all those updates, that's when you know you're good. Now we're gonna jump, jump back into hyperspace. Fast, fast, fast. We're trying to cut down as much time as possible. And that's it. All we gotta do is return these passengers without getting uh, attacked or scanned completely and that's it we get our money so again if you get scanned as i've mentioned before just drop a heat sink you can do silent running i don't like it because it makes your ship run really hot and it makes me nervous but you could drop a heat sink if you're auto docking a little trick is you can pull back on your throttle and then drop the heat sink because if you're auto docking it's not going to let you drop a heat sink um so you have to cancel the auto dock so just pull back on your throttle drop a heat sink and then let the and then put your throttle back to neutral so that the, the auto dock takes back over. Um, I will put on a docking computer for this, I believe, I think I will at least. Um, not that I need one, but I have an extra slot in this Python that doesn't have a cabin, and so I'm thinking about putting a docking computer on it. Um, and then also I recommend doing this in solo play or in a private server so that you don't get griefed. Um, I mean, if you want the full experience of the game, then um, play it in open, but just don't get too salty if you get griefed from doing this, because there are people who will camp this route looking specifically for people running passenger missions. When With the legal passengers, which I actually do have legal passengers right now, with illegal passengers, once they scan you and they see you have illegal passengers, boom, they're free. They're not going to get in trouble for attacking you. Um, or there's people with like a hundred million credit bounties on their head so that they just don't care. All right, so get away, start pitching away from the sun so you can get some speed. We'll get a blue mark for Robigo Mines. Super Cruise Assist. We're gonna aim and then go full throttle. So sometimes I'll I'll go to the blue zone just so it lines me up properly, and then I'll full throttle for the super cruise assist until we get down to about seven seconds. And then every once in a while I'll go blue zone just to straighten out, but you can manually straighten out if you want. You don't have to do that. I just kind of like to do that um, as an immersive experience, but. So, all right, we got a pretty straight shot. We need to get to seven seconds. I don't know if this is on. Okay, here we go. Seven, go to blue zone, and just let it rope. We're going eight, so we're gonna go to seven. We, we're gonna throttle up to seven. Keep it at seven. Seven is the safe area. Just throttle up. It keeps going to eight, I imagine, because of the all the um, mass around the planet, but we're gonna keep it at seven. That's where we want it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to be going too fast. Nah, I think we're going to be okay. And as soon as you drop out, boost towards the station. And then look at the station and get ready to request docking. And then boost again. And then once you get close, then we're going to um, put our landing gear to slow us down. So boost. All pips in the engines. Look at the... Oh, whoops. Sorry. Look at the station. Once we get under 7,500, request docking. Granted, boost again, 
That's the only pad lit up, so that's probably our pad. I'm going to drop gear to slow me down. And then we're going to have to come in this way. And I'm going to use... I'm thrusting upwards a little bit to stop my... To slow my ship down. We're going to come in nice and easy. And on these ones, I find that this is the easy... Sometimes the easiest method is just to go nose in. Um... And that's it, we're in. And this will probably... There we go, perfect. And now turn in your passenger missions. We're gonna look at how much we earned in that period of time. Look at it. <clears throat> we're at 515 mil right now, so we're just gonna quickly turn all these in for cash. And I've heard people say that they sometimes use these for materials as well. Um, so something else to keep in mind, like, I guess, cobalt, biotech conductor. So there's different materials you can get from these missions as well. Um, but I'm just doing it for cash. And we were at 515 when we started. And it looks like we're going to end at 537. So about 22 mil is what we just made off of that run. That very quick run. If you have questions about the run, please ask below. I think it's pretty simple. Um, this, to me, this is a little more fast paced than the the uh, Hauser Reach run in the Beluga that I do. Um, but I think that they're both good. This one definitely, it's definitely nice to see those five mil missions and you're in a smaller ship and you don't have to, it, it's a lot quicker to dock. So I would say that this is the better method. I don't know that I'll exclusively use this, but I do appreciate everyone who was suggesting this and here's the video for it uh again please like subscribe and until next time thanks for watching